Chair, I missed, I missed before at the start of the previous meeting, um, you said that Councillor Burkill had uh, sent apologies because he was in a meeting that, as I know, isn't actually taking place and finished at five. Did you not have any um, apologies from Councillor Brewerton? I have told you who I have apologies from. So that's no apologies received from Councillor Brewerton. Thank you. I mean, it's possible that uh, Ashley may have received apologies from it. I don't know. Ashley, did you receive any apologies from Councillor Brewerton? I hadn't before seven o'clock. Okay. And any since? Uh, I'm looking. Can we carry on with the meeting first? Yep, please. Yep, please. I'd just like that confirming at some stage. <laughs> okay, Chair. Thank you. Chairman, while you're between uh, meetings and standing orders aren't applying, could I ask, please, that whoever is organising the Zoom meeting ejects the people who are deliberately causing trouble and are here to show off. Uh, some of them are on the main screen. It is completely unacceptable. Um, and can I also ask the other councillors, can you please work with the chairman and stop trying to wind him up? He's in the very difficult circumstances. And I think some of the attitudes that you're showing is disrespectful. I don't know who this resident is, but I certainly take affront at that. I've always been respectful of the chair. And so yeah, there's not been getting any disrespect from us. We're trying to keep the meeting on track. It's very unfortunate. And I would ask oh. us of the public to try not to treat it as a comedy. <clears throat> you may have noticed that one of the newspapers described me as having roomy eyes, R-E-G-U-M-Y <coughs> eyes, which I thought was a particularly intelligent comment. Um, it's actually true, of course. It's one of the side effects of having been diabetic for 40-something uh, years. Okay, open forum. Uh, again, member, members of the public may speak or ask questions about items that are on the agenda. Um, I, would, I would ask you to note that uh, there's a 15 minute session for discussing items that are not on the agenda later on. Um, so we will restrict this to items, this particular piece to items that are on the agenda, just so we can move things on a bit. Okay, anybody got anything to ask or to say? Any other yes, please. The public? Okay. Yes, please. Yeah. Could you state your name, please? Roger Small, uh, South Ward resident. Thank you. I'd like to uh, suggest some changes to the minutes. They're minor changes. The minutes of the last meeting, they're minor changes, but I think they're important. Anybody else? Uh, David Pincom has his hand up. David. David, you're on mute. Could you please unmute yourself? David, we, we can't hear you at the moment. Could you unmute? If the parish council are going to uh, contribute £10,000 per annum to this, uh, subsidising this bus route, will the parish council get a say in uh, the actual route itself? Will this bus go through the Spath Lane Loop, for example? And how? Uh, what will be the frequency of the bus service? I am unable to answer that question myself because um, the, the original intention from the Deputy Leader of Cheshire East was to have a meeting with all of the councillors. Um, but somehow or other, it ended up with only uh, councillors uh, Moore and Sampson and Smith being there. The, uh, the other three, that's myself and uh, Ruben and Burkill, were supposed to have a meeting, a Zoom meeting with him. And uh, I lost track of time, but two weeks ago, say, so, um, and he had to cancel from that. So we haven't had the benefit of this discussion. Uh, we are kind of in ignorance of what's been discussed other than in broad brush terms. So uh, I, I, Can I, ask, I, think, Chair? I think I'm going to, uh, well, I, I am going to suggest that we have a bit of a discussion on that item on the agenda 
and ask for it to be deferred until we've had an opportunity to speak to the deputy leader. Um, Chairman, Chair. sorry. sorry but, um, but any, anyway, let's, let's deal with that when we get to that item on the agenda. Uh, let's keep with the uh, open. Chairman, could I, could I just speak there, please? Um, you were invited to a meeting on Saturday, as were all councillors. Which Saturday? Uh, no in fact, wasn't. Chair, Chair, we, we, we had had a meeting arranged with uh, the deputy leader on the Thursday evening. Uh, then they, we were told that you were not attending that, you were attending a meeting on the Saturday. So we said, right, well, forget our meeting. We'll join in with your meeting on the Saturday with the deputy leader. And um, we were the only three that turned up. Um, yep. So that there was a meeting arranged. We fell in with the meeting that you were going to be attending. But then when we attended it, yourself, Councillor Brewerton and Councillor Burkill didn't show. So I'd just like to correct that because you, yes, you mentioned that you weren't able to have that meeting. Well, we changed our plans so that we had all the parish council there so that we could have a good discussion and see each other's point of view um, before we brought it to full council tonight. But unfortunately, because of uh, just the three of us being there, we're unable to do that. It seems like there's been a mon monumental muck-up. Well, if that's what you want to call it, it was people not attending the meeting that they were intending to. Well, what do you call Council yeah. Brown is expecting you. Are we going to argue about what it should be called? No, we'll, we'll ignore it and we'll go ahead, please. So we're still in the open forum. So uh, does any other member yeah. of the public? Chairman, have... might I raise a question, please? Um, I'd like to ask uh, in relation to item 21054, which is approving and signing the minutes of the Handforth Parish Council Extraordinary Meeting of 21st of January 2021. Why, uh, during that meeting, was Jackie Weaver allowed to dismiss the chairman from the meeting when the chairman is the only one with that power, and when Jackie Weaver was not a council member and only in attendance? And based on that, as the chairman and vice chairman were both evicted from the extraordinary meeting and unable to vote at that meeting, does that meeting now become null and void? No, it does not. Well, I would, I I would, would ask you, I would after agree chairman. With you. I would agree with you. Um, can I make a point, please? I don't. I don't know who's speaking. Well, you walked off when you didn't agree with the fact that there was going to be a vote on the approved in the meeting from the previous meeting. Well, maybe and that's not acceptable, you know. And then you disagreed with what the clerk said when, you know, he's called for a vote. You know, that isn't acceptable. It's not following the standing orders that you keep Dear, discussing in town. I, I'm, I'm just not hearing enough of what you say. I, 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 I get Boring! General, general kind of drift of what you're saying, but I can't hear enough to be specific about your specific point. And then, um, Councillor Moore, um, Smith or Samson, can you hear me okay? Can, yes, can I can hear you. On that? Um, can I, I speak? Do you agree or disagree with what I stated? Um, this is Councillor Samson here. I'd like to respond to iPad 3. Uh, um, Anna Murdoch, I believe you have a question. You can't just mute me. 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 I'm asking you. Ashley, would you mute that person, please? I'm just asking. You to... I thought you wanted to vote on that. Yeah. I, I, I was trying to. I was trying to speak to. Um... Councillors, Councillors Smith and Councillors Moore have had legal advice from me regarding the legality of calling Ashley, the last you, meeting could illegal. You, Ashley, mm. could you could you please mute people whilst I just respond to what Councillor Sampson said? Thank you. Yeah. Dogecoin to the moon. Um, just Would talking to be able to just explain what Nulk and Chalk are, please. Okay, Chalk is Cheshire Association of Local Councils. Um, they uh, operate within the Cheshire area. That's Cheshire West as well as Cheshire East. Um, the, the, these various ALCs around the country are um, uh, independent organisations. I was going to call them companies, but I don't know. I think they're formally speaking associations. They're not. Um, they're not publicly authorised bodies like councils. They 
I mean, you, you could set up your own app if you wanted to, is really what I'm saying. Um, but uh, they, they tend to operate one for each county. And their essential purpose is to, well, the way they own their corn, is to give advice and support and uh, training to local councils, town and parish councils. Not just the National Association of Local Councils, it does the same sort of job on a national basis. Um, but as I said, they. County ALCs. So they, they are self listed companies. And that's Chair, what can I just, can say about them. Chair, can I just say that you, you, you've answered the question? Can we, can we accept that? So, you know, it does take a while, but can we, can we please move on? I believe, Alan Murdoch, you have a question. You're muted currently. Um, we've yep. got the we've got the minutes here of the twenty first of January meeting. What's happened to the minutes of the twelfth of January? There were some important issues on that, like the accessibility statement on the website and so on, that were never resolved. Okay. Has anyone seen minutes of the twelfth of January? <laughs> no. 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 Who? Um, oh. Um, I think Councillor Brewerton was uh, was clerking that until he had an unavoidable, important meeting to go to. Um, so presumably he he would be doing the minutes for up until the point he was uh, pulled away. <laughs> it, it was a Are we discussing the minutes of the twenty first of January or not? Yes, please. That's why I was asking you if I could do that because. The question was asked about the the legality uh, claims that you made, and uh, on on the beginning of each of the two meetings, you stated that the meetings were unlawful. You actually said this meeting has not been called according to the law. The law has been broken. There are very specific conditions for calling an EXO meeting, and these have not been met. Correct. They are specified in Standard Orders 17B and in law. Correct. has to be called by the chairman or has to be requisitioned by two councillors applying to the chair. Yes. I have received no such requisition. Correct. Councillor Moore, with my name at the bottom of the email as well, sent an email to you requesting, requesting that you call an extraordinary meeting on the 25th of November. But you didn't... We received you didn't, no reply. You didn't provide she an also, agenda. She also requested on the 28th of November, but you didn't reply. Another email was sent on the 30th of November, which you didn't reply. And then another one on Tuesday, the 1st of December, which you didn't reply to. And then on Friday, the 4th of December, an agenda was issued to all councillors. It was posted to all HPC notice boards and both our names were on the bottom of that agenda. Then the meeting actually took place on Thursday, the 10th of December. And we all know that meeting. So there were four occasions of emails, Chair, that you didn't reply to. You in said none, you hadn't received But them. in none of them did you provide me with an agenda. Excuse That's me. That's right. An agenda is not necessary. It doesn't say that. Smith. Sorry. Councillor Smith, may I just interrupt one second there? Please there do. is no requirement in the standing orders or in the 1972 Act that says you have to provide an agenda. You do not have to provide an agenda. We were simply asking for permission, as put down and stated quite clearly in our standing orders. And we were trying to continue with Hanforth Parish Council uh, responsibilities and keeping matters moving whilst the clerk was suspended. And that was the sole purpose of that meeting. Oh, no other, nothing else at all. And I don't see why uh, you would not respond to my emails. But having said that, Councillor Tolver, neither yourself, Councillor Burkhill, or Councillor Brewerton respond. How would it be possible Sick burn. for me to uh, advertise a meeting on the public notice board, your, your extraordinary meetings, without you providing me with an agenda in the right time frame? You don't chairman, have that's to. That, chair, sorry, Cynthia. Can I just say, Chair? Right. Sorry, Chair, that is irrelevant because the standing orders on the Hanford standing orders, 17B, extraordinary meetings. It says if the chairman of the council does not or refuses to call an extraordinary meeting of the council, 
within seven days of having been requested to do so by two councillors. Those two councillors, they... Ashley, would you mind? Those two councillors may convene an extraordinary meeting of the council. The statutory public notice giving the time, venue and agenda for such a meeting must be signed by the two councillors, which what had our name think? at the bottom. However, that what is you, all that it says. Think, chair, I'm speaking, Chair. Request? With respect, Chair, I'm still it's speaking. You're interrupting, chair, chair. Chair, I'm still speaking. Oh. What do you chair, think? Chair, I will finish what I'm saying. Oh, will you? <laughs> yes. Please have some respect for me rather than it just being the one way. <laughs> they're, they're, the standing orders make no mention whatsoever about having to supply an agenda with the request. Well, what, do you think, what do you think a request for an extraordinary meeting is if it, is, if it doesn't include an agenda? If you wished it to include that, then you should have altered the standing orders to say so. We were simply following standing orders and protocol. You, you were... And I'm like, the most the most minimal interpretation. It's an interpretation. Not at all. Not it doesn't at all. matter. It, it doesn't matter. matter. It's an interpretation you. that makes no sense. I might remind you, Councillor Tolver, that I've requested on more than one occasion why, in an email, why you have cut. Uh, decided to call the meeting illegal, which you can't do, actually. You would have to go to a court of law, I believe, to do that. However, that's irrelevant. I asked that's you close. for the reasons why you wanted the uh, meeting to be called illegal. And you said to me, I will refer you to the 1972 Act. Well, let me tell you something, Councillor Tolver. Over the last seven, eight, nine months, I have become extremely familiar with the 1972 Act. I have read it in connection with the suspension and the, what I can only call a witch hunt of the clerk. And I know that inside out. And there is nothing in that 1972 Act that any of councillors here have uh, gone against. Everything has been perfectly legal and done, double checked, triple checked to ensure that we weren't doing anything incorrectly. And I find your behaviour obstructive. We are trying to do Hanforth Parish Council business. That's all we're trying to do. Yeah, I agree with Susan. Madam Speaker, I think this is a very aggressive attack on the Chair. Whilst you may voice your opinion on your interpretation of the legality, I don't think it should be discussed in further more detail, but I think you should, councillors, treat them with more respect, because this is coming across as a bullying attitude. Tolva has to call a mix this is March of 2020. Well said, Councillor Moore, well said. Can I nominate Alan Murdoch to take no, over? No, I think you should answer councillors' no, question. Council is, is states it so that it's only illegal when Brewerton's envisaged barrister oh. says it's. Yeah, I have a question for um, Ashley at the park. Can, Ashley, I, point um, out, can I point out how much time we're wasting here? Yes, it's a lot. Well, isn't I'm it? sorry, it's, but you're yeah. still <laughs> the wasting time. Well, that's all, all I'm asking for is part of the Brewerton. <laughs> But you've um, taken. I propose um, that we do a vote of no confidence in Councillor Tolver because he's clearly not fit for the position. I agree. So I'm and I'm not being rude, rude, and that is just with actions on tonight, never mind previous meetings. I so, agree. can one of the councillors please answer the question? How do we do a vote of no confidence in Councillor you, you, you would have to get people to put it on the agenda. Right, well, and we know what's on the next agenda then, don't we, boys and girls? Yeah, we have to put it on the agenda. Well, on the on the agenda. Now then, now so, this. Uh, I definitely agree as well. Chair, I'd just like to make a comment to that member of the public now? that it doesn't matter what happens on a vote of no confidence, it can just be ignored by the subject of that vote of no confidence, unfortunately. Sick burn. Ignore no. it. What? what? Chair, do we then raise a complaint or, you know, put in a motion to remove Councillor Tolbert as the chair? Excuse me. Because I'm sorry. Um, it's, um, you know, he's being obstructive behaviour. Um, can I ask you, please? 
Can someone mute the, uh, uh, iPad 3? Yeah. Cynthia, speak. Can we have some order, please? Yeah. Councillor Cynthia Sampson, I'd just like to make another comment, Ashley. That's why this is all broken down. And I, I'm sorry, this is not very... Can you mute everybody, please? Can I please ask? Oh, no. Can we have some more? Oh, oh, no, I was just muted everyone. No misconduct and no evidence was forthcoming to support that so called suspension. Ash, can I ask the clerk? Ashley, uh, can oh, you. Oh, uh, that's can a shame, you, Brian. Can you mute the, uh, the offenders, please? Well, oh, can we'll be in the next meeting? Still, uh, I just wanted to put it out there. I'd love it. We well, couldn't run a back, never mind a meeting. This has done so much for local politics awareness. Like, I'm looking into joining my own parish council now, actually. I'll join with you. <laughs> you don't know where I live, so... Can, I, we, get, I may oh, find can you. we get back to the minute, <laughs> please? Yeah. Here, here. Can, can the chair, the chair is muted I'll again. I believe the chair is trying to speak. But this is an absolute hey, clusterfuck. This is a shambles. I'm no confidence in the clerk. Oh, chair, you're muted. <laughs> what an obvious shambles! Oh, damn it, it's blushing now. Oh, 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 chair, oh, you're oh, unmuted now if you wish to speak. I, I'd just like to say I've been fairly polite tonight. This is Chair, are you going to carry on? I'm, I'm waiting. You know how, you know to, I'm waiting for everybody to come waiting. back to order. Well, you've been waiting a long time, Chair. Well, uh, you've been waiting a long time. You've been the one doing the talking for much of the time. <laughs> yes, but unfortunately, Ooh. Chair, without getting any answers from you, uh, unexpectedly left the meeting. It's back to front. I think it's backwards, Brian. The, the what? <laughs> back to front, Brian. What do you mean? Well, when you hold it up to the camera, it's back to front. Mm. Go right back. Not to him, it isn't. Um, I'm, I'm, trying, I'm trying to read it. <laughs> oh, okay. Right. It's, I'm very glad people know how mirrors work. It's, it's because which, I have to which use meeting, the magnifying Jeff? glass. Would you respect Base. me now, please? So you may, you may ask, and I will answer it in a moment. Um, but I want to finish what I was saying first, if you'll excuse me. Hello. Hi. I was, I was. I have just done a very call at the minute, though. I was reading the statement, and there was some dialogue with uh, Ms. Weaver, um, who, incidentally, um, was speaking out of turn because nobody is allowed to speak under those circumstances, as you know. Uh, and she, I, I don't know why, but she pressed the mute button and she has said as much um, in interviews on television, I believe. Oh, bitter. And uh, you're, you're making an incorrect statement. No, no, I'm not. No, watch, not. Watch, no, not. watch order. Watch the video. Now, following Let's further comments, I, I Jackie, have Weaver, Jackie Weaver placed yeah. the three councillors in the Zoom waiting room. <laughs> when, she, when she returned to the waiting room, to ask the councillors would cease the abusive comments if admitted back into the meeting, you'd left. She hadn't clicked the button to send you out. She put you in the waiting room and then came back to well, ask what, if you what, would what, stop. What does that look like? Let him finish. speak. What German, does, please what please please let me finish, Chair. What do you think the waiting speaking. room looks like? I, mean, I don't care what the waiting room looks like. She placed well, you this, in there. This, this room 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 just, really nice. Chair, will you let me finish? <clears throat> oh, my God. Being a bit hypocritical. The three councillors were not kicked out. You disconnected yourself from the Zoom meeting. And after that, the planning meeting continued normally. Let's so, go back. And have you finished? No, that's all I'm going to say. Here, John Smith. <laughs> yeah. So... And you've still not answered why you don't answer emails from Councillor Moore about requests for... Uh, shall, we, shall we stop changing the subject for a moment? No, no let's Council move on. Let's move on. Council We've discussed the minutes. Let him finish. Chair, you've had your have, five minutes. I've had just, my five minutes. Can I suggest we move on? I have much to dispute in what Councillor Smith just said. Go on. 
I'm sure you have. I don't really may want I, to bore everybody, but he was wrong on just about every single point he raised. May I explain how he was wrong? And, may I, and, and, oh, and I, 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 I would, if people would kindly be quiet. May I put forward something that's actually polite? Ooh. May I put forward that as a motion? Is that is that is that acceptable to everyone? That's Sorry. acceptable. No, yeah. it's not on the agenda. Sorry. I mean, I believe. Do not assume my gender. <laughs> Ashley, are you there? Yes. Are you could going you, to vote? Could, I'm going to mute could the you, participants could, during could, your could you, during your debate. Could you, could you mute me or put me out? I'm just trying to be the voice of reason, and I me? think that's acceptable. Well, Jackie's not here, so you're not. None of this benefits the residents of Hanforth. Exactly. Who is that? Alan Murdoch. Don't think so. No. That's not irony. Why does ET have the authority? Anybody? Is anybody forwarding this item? Forwarding? Well, proposing, I should say. I'll propose that we accept it. I'll second that.